Hey, my name is David Buck, and right now we're going to learn how to use the presets in Lightroom to help you speed up your photo editing. If you navigate to the basic panel, on the left hand side you'll see your navigation tools. Choose the presets drop down and you'll see any presets you have saved in Lightroom. Now, you may not see very many here, or you may see a whole bunch, especially if you've purchased presets from another photographer, or you use them already in your workflow. But, what is a preset? Well, these presets are simply a saved group of changes made in the develop module that you can reapply to another image in one click. Sweet! So, they can be really handy to get your desired look very quickly. Now, when you hover over each preset, you'll be given a preview of what your picture will look like. So, if you have a bunch of them, you can just hover over until you find one you like, then click, and voila! However, what I want to show you in this video is what I do with these in order to speed up my workflow, especially when I'm editing a lot of images. This method refers back to the basic editing video linked here of what I do to edit an image start to finish. So I like to break down different parts of editing and make sure that the presets speed up each of those parts, and then I can bulk apply those changes to whole groups of photos, which allows me to make huge changes to a lot of images with just a few clicks. So the different parts I break down into editing are balancing, enhancing, and finishing. Depending on the style of photo depends on which group of changes I want to actually use. So let's use two different examples of editing photos with people in them and editing photos of buildings, interiors, and cities. So break up these tasks into these three different sections. So I want you to make all the adjustments that you would make in order to balance a photo. So when I'm working with people, I want a lower contrast on their skin. Typically I want the colors to be saturated except for the oranges and the red tones, which is those skin tonal ranges. Then I want to apply a tone curve correction to the shadows and highlights, which make the people jump off the background. Then I'm going to save that preset as a balancing preset for images with people in it. So when I create a new preset, I'm going to create a new group as well and, and, and organize it under my people editing group. So then let's call this one balancing. Now this is something I can apply to every image that I have with people in it. Now here's a cool trick. If you go back to the library module and you group select the images with people in them, you can pull the drop down menu here and apply the preset to all the images you've selected in just a couple clicks. Very cool. Next we've got the enhancing stage to the editing. Now this is adding in contrast, specific color adjustment, adding color grading, or giving a finish to those images. The reason this works so well is because you're now applying those specific changes to the same types of images that are already balanced. And you start to see that you get a very consistent result with all of your photos. So here I'll create one that has a split tone enhancement, make a few changes in the color grading. The purpose of using these is to make your editing faster. So try to get yourself to the finish line in a few clicks rather than a few hours. Next you can work on the finishing presets and this can be highlight bumps, contrast, adjusting the noise and sharpness settings that you can apply on export of your images to give them just a little bit of an extra kick. Or you can create skin softening and retouching presets that you can apply to all your portraits you shoot. The key here is that when you've got a whole bunch of images that you're working on, you want to group them together into similar photos so that if you have a whole bunch of pictures from one location in one type of lighting, you want to group those all together and edit those all together. If you have images mixed in there with that are completely different scenes or different lightings, like you turned around or you shot a different direction, you want to sort those out into other groups so that when you're applying these presets, you're applying them to all the same looking images. So if you've got 100 images throughout the day that all look similar or in the same type of lighting, you want to group those all together and make those bulk adjustments to them. That's where using the library module and the drop down menu and putting them together, then applying the presets means that you're getting 100 images to the finish line way faster rather than just one or two or five or seven. So when you're making your, when you're building your adjustments, and saving them into presets, you want to keep that in mind that you want to group by the same type of photos. So here we can see it in practice. Here's 10 photos. If I bulk apply the base preset and then choose these five and apply the enhancements and facial retouching, you see we can get to the end very, very quickly. You want to use the synchronization tools to make sure that the white balance and the exposure are just right before exporting. And then back in your library module, you can use these quick develop tools in the grid view to nudge your images to finish all in a group setting. Understanding the process of how to use these presets will allow you now to use any purchase presets to your advantage as well. If you have some that you like that give you a particular look that you love, figure out what it is that they're doing to the photos and how you can use them to then apply that finish to the images in your workflow. The more that you can use these presets and the quick develop tools in the library module 
to get you to the finish line faster, the better off you're going to be because you'll be spending less time sitting behind your computer and a whole lot more time out there shooting or spending time with family.